Hello, I'm Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. In this video, we shall cover the 20mm Hispano Cannon and the gun's installation within the Spitfire Mark 5B and C variants, which were both fitted with the Hispano. I shall give you extracts from the 1942 Air Ministry manuals and will show you my relevant reworked colour AP diagrams. I hope you find this interesting. The Spitfire Mark V's Hispano 20mm cannon is automatic in action and so long as the pilot's firing control mechanism is operated, the gun should continue to fire until all the available ammunition in the magazine, which is 60 rounds, is expended. Its rate of fire is high, being 650 rounds per minute. The total overall length of the gun is 8 foot 2.5 inches and the length of the barrel is 5 foot 7 and a quarter inches. Ammunition is fed to the gun from a spring-loaded drum-shaped magazine, which can be easily removed and exchanged when empty by the armourer on the ground. The Spitfire Mark V was fitted with a belt-feed mechanism, which could be used instead of a magazine. To enable the first round to be loaded and fired, the breech is opened and the gun cocked by a cocking unit. The breech block is held in the open position against the pressure of a return spring by the sear, and when the firing control mechanism is operated by the pilot, a return spring drives the breech block forward. The breech block, as it travels forward, loads around from the belt feed mechanism, and the final action of the mechanism locks the breech and fires the gun. After the first round has been loaded and fired, the gun depends for its motive power upon gas pressure. A portion of the propelling gases is deflected through a vent in the barrel onto a piston, which unlocks the breech block and allows the residual pressure in the bore to act against the empty cartridge case and drive the breech block to the rear. The breech block, in travelling to the rear, extracts and ejects the empty cartridge case from the chute on the underside of the Spitfire's main plane. The gun is cooled by airflow over the barrel. In the Spitfire Mark V, the firing of the gun is controlled by a pneumatically operated gun firing control mechanism. The Mark I and II guns are similar in construction and some of the components of the Mark II gun were also fitted to the Mark I gun. The belt feed mechanism comprises of a cylindrical metal case and ends of which are closed by front and rear covers held by three tie rods. Inside the case is a rotatable central shaft, the ends of which are supported by the covers. Three sprockets with hubs keyed on the shaft form an assembly which rotates as a whole. As each round is fired, the recoil of the gun actuates a rack mounted in the front cover. The ammunition belt enters the belt feed mechanism through a belt guide, and the rounds are engaged by the sprockets and carried round between the sprockets and circumferential guides which are riveted inside the case. The noses of the bullets contact the bottom of the cam groove formed inside the front cover and the rounds are forced axially towards the rear. The links are prevented from moving towards the rear by the teeth of the centre sprocket so that when the rounds have been pushed back far enough the belt disintegrates. The links are pushed clear of the rounds by a link ejector and falls through a link chute out through an opening on the underside of the Spitfire's main plane, as shown here. The rounds, after being freed from the links, are conveyed past the feed levers and are deflected by an extension of the link ejector bracket into a mouth, which is similar to that of the magazine. The last round retainer, mounted on the front feed lever, projects into the mouth and while there is still a round between the sprocket teeth pressing on the feed levers, the retainer is not operative. 
When only the last two rounds remain in the mouth, the retainer prevents the last round from reaching the loading position. The 20mm Hispano gun was adopted by the Royal Air Force as the standard armament for fighter aircraft before World War II and was introduced progressively from late 1940 until by the end of the war all British designed and built fighters were fitted at least partially with the Hispano gun and on average each gun was provided with 150 rounds. Belt mixes were normally ball and HE incendiary in the early war years. The installation of the two Browning guns in each Spitfire 5B plane is the same as for the two outboard guns in a Spitfire 5A. The Hispano gun in each main plane is mounted on its side directly outboard of the undercarriage recess and supported at the leading edge and on rib 8. The former support being the main mounting taking the recoil loads. The rear mounting is for support purposes only. 60 round drum type magazines are fitted to the guns which like the Browning guns are fired pneumatically. The empty gun shell cases are ejected through chutes projecting through rib 8. The front mounting consists of a tubeless socket riveted to the leading edge placing at the nose of the main plane. A sleeve with an eccentric hole is screwed into this socket and the piston housing is screwed into the eccentric hole in the sleeve. There is also an eccentric bearing in the piston housing for the gun barrel. These eccentrics provide adjustment for harmonising the guns. The eccentric sleeve is split halfway through and fitted with two grub screws which lock the sleeve and the piston housing. A barrel fairing is fitted to the forward end of the barrel and the tubular socket. The rear mounting consists of a trunnion fitting supported in vertical bearings attached to a cast bracket on rib 8. The bearing in which the gun slides fore and aft is fitted with a trunnion fitting and is free to rotate therein round a horizontal axis. The mounting is therefore universal and needs no adjustment when harmonising the guns. The magazine is mounted on the gun in the normal way and lies in a compartment the top cover of which is quickly detachable for the purpose of changing the magazine. A detachable armour plate 6mm thick is fitted to the forward wall of the compartment. The magazine trigger on the gun is operated by a lever mounted on the rear wall of the compartment and connected to the gun lever by a link. Supports for the magazine spindle are fitted forward and aft of the compartment and are adjustable and self-locking. The heating of the Hispano guns in the Spitfire 5B it's the same as for the 5A variant. The Browning guns are kept warm by air heated by the engine exhaust. The air inlet for this purpose is the forward end of the tube through each exhaust manifold. Air ducts lead from the aft ends of these tubes down inside the engine cowling along the inside of each main plane leading edge and through the spar web into the rear portion of the plane between the two outboard Browning gun bays. Outboard of the outer gun bay, a baffle is fitted to the rib, thus blanking off the outer portion of the main plane. In the Spitfire 5C, the two Hispano gun mountings in each plane are situated between ribs 8 and 10 immediately outboard the main wheel unit recess. The ammunition boxes for the Hispano guns are built into the main plane outboard of rib 10. Ammunition feed units Mark 1 are fitted to the Hispano guns. The arrangements for the two outboard Browning guns in each plane are similar to those for the outer pair of guns on the Spitfire 5A and B 
but the mountings for the inboard two Browning guns are interchangeable with their Spano gun mountings. When the four Browning gun and two Hispano gun arrangement is required, the inboard Hispano gun mounting is used. Hispano 20mm Mark I or Mark II guns may be mounted. The alternative disposition of armament for this aeroplane is shown here. The two Ford Hispano gun mountings in each plane consist of a mounting ring in which is screwed a sleeve with an eccentric spherical hole. An inner eccentric into which is screwed and locked by a grub screw, the piston sleeve, fits into the spherical hole in the outer eccentric. The eccentrics are for the purpose of harmonising the guns. Barrel fairings are located on the forward end of the gun barrel and are bolted to the mounting ring. The mounting ring for the outboard gun is riveted direct to the casting, which is mounted to the nose of the main plane leading edge. But the ring for the inboard gun is riveted to a tubular extension to the casting. The rear mountings for the guns consist of a trunnion, free to swing about the horizontal axis and supported in bearings between rib 8 and 9 for the inboard gun and ribs 9 and 10 for the outboard gun. The slide bearings for the guns are fitted within the trunnions and are free to rotate on a vertical axis. The mountings therefore are universal and need no adjustment when harmonising the guns. Slide bearings to suit either the Mark I or Mark II gun can be fitted to the trunnions and the bearings for the trunnions can be raised or lowered to suit either gun. Whichever gun is fitted, spare slide bearings for the other type are stowed in the forward end of the ribs outboard of the gun bay in each plane. To hold the feed unit stationary when the gun is firing, a stay is fitted between the feed mechanism on the gun and the spar top boom. The ammunition boxes for the Hispano cannons are built into the main plane structure and are situated directly outboard of the rib 10. They are protected from the forward side by armour plate and the bottom and detachable top are both made of light alloy for purposes of protection. The ammunition in belt form is fed over rollers and through chutes to the feed units mounted on the guns. Each box contains 120 rounds. Access to Hispano guns and ammunition boxes is through a large removable door on the top surface of the main plane. The whole of the top of each ammunition box is detachable. The Browning gun mountings are similar to those fitted on the Spitfire 5s A and B. The two outboard guns in each 5C plane are similarly arranged except that the inner gun of the two has been moved outboard to the extent of one rib bay. The two inboard guns are mounted in the same bays as those used for the Hispano guns, the mountings being interchangeable. The ammunition boxes for the two outboard Browning guns in each plane are arranged just like that of the Spitfires 5A and B those for the inboard guns being mounted together as a unit in the Hispano gun forward ammunition box. These are filled in position in the main plane after removing the cover on the top surface, each section taking 630 rounds. Feed necks lead the ammunition to each gun, that for the inboard gun arching over the outboard gun. The blast tubes for the two inboard guns are not fixed in position as in the Spitfires 5A and B and those for the outboard two guns on this aircraft but are clipped around the gun barrel near the forward mounting and are located in a special adapter to the Hispano gun forward mounting casing. They are removed from the main plane with the guns. The gun heating system in this aircraft is similar to that of the Spitfire 5B. Here's a few photographs relating to the Hispano Cannon as fitted to the Spitfire 5.
Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you like what I do on this channel, please click the like button and consider subscribing. And also ring the bell. Remember it's free and you'll receive notifications when my future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.